hole in the heart. It's one of those standard procedures. It's probably more standard for Devi Prasad Shetty than just about anyone else. The 62-year-old surgeon says he stopped counting after his 15,000th open-heart operation. I do now about one or two surgeries a day, and we work six days a week. My colleagues, uh, some of them do four surgeries, five surgeries a day. Anywhere from 25 to 35 open-heart operations are performed in the theaters here every day, many on babies making this by far the largest cardiac care facility in the world. This 1,000-bed hospital in Bangalore is part of a fast-growing for-profit hospital chain called Narayana Health. Its error rate is similar to or lower than most American hospitals at a tiny fraction of the cost. Take this complicated valve replacement operation that took more than six hours. This patient would have paid us about $2,500 to $3,000. But in the U.S., an operation of this nature would cost, I guess, more anything from $70,000, $100,000. Dr. Shetty founded Narayana Health 15 years ago. Like similar enterprises in India, it does serve wealthy patients and some medical tourists. But he says the mission is to bring the latest advances in cardiac surgery to the lower middle class and the poor. If a solution is not affordable, it is not a solution. It's pointless we're talking about huge developments in cardiac surgery or a brain operation or a complex cancer surgery if a common man cannot afford it. Chocolate candy. Hmm? Here's a candy for you. I see 70, 100 patients a day. A typical patient of mine is a little kid on a mother's lap he has a leakage in the valve of his heart. He needs an operation. The surgery carries risks, Shetty told the child's family. Sir, he is my only child. That's all I want to say. I will do everything possible. God will make it all right. Don't worry. It's a scene repeated several times a day, Shetty says. And the tears, the anguish, are not always about whether the surgery will be successful. I tell the mother that the baby requires a heart operation. And uh, she has only one question, how much it is going to cost? And I tell her that uh, it is going to cost 80,000 rupees, which she doesn't have. And that is a price tag on the kid's life. She comes up with 80,000 rupees, she can have the baby. If she doesn't have 80,000 rupees, she's going to lose the kid. That's about $1,300, a lot of money in India where hundreds of millions earn less than $2 a day. A few patients are helped by a charitable trust set up by Narayana Health. Most have somehow scrounged together the resources. In India, Shetty says, 80% of all medical bills are paid out of pocket. They virtually sell everything what they have and uh, come for treatment. Half the country's population borrow money or sell assets to pay the medical bills. The parents of five-month-old Manoj borrowed about three times their monthly income as rural farm laborers just to figure out why the child wasn't thriving. He was not taking his milk properly. He had fevers and cough, so we took him to see the doctor. They told us he needed surgery. That meant a day-long train journey to this hospital, but once there, another Narayana benefit kicked in, an insurance policy developed with farmer associations and state governments in South India. The plan covers only major medical costs like surgery, but the premium of just 10 cents a month makes it widely affordable. It's amazing that such a small amount of money could provide that care. The number of people who are covered under this scheme is about uh, 10 million now, and uh, it has uh, performed or close to about 100,000 operations of various kinds. We were assured three-year-old Chitra Shri was in no physical pain, just anxious as nurses removed her stitches from a successful heart operation. A huge relief medically and financially for her parents who struggled to get by selling milk from their two cows.
The insurance coverage for their extended family and so many others has been a significant revenue source for Narayana Health. About 25 percent. Really? Yes. So it's significant. Then. It is significant. It's just one business strategy Narayana has used to find revenue. It also has a Walmart-like approach to cost saving, squeezing vendors for everything from surgical gowns to supplies to devices. We have 32 hospitals across India. 12% of the heart surgery done in India is done by us. When we implant one of the largest number of heart valves in the world, obviously you pay for it less than others. And also, more than the cost, your results get better. He says the sheer volume of surgery not only improves productivity and lowers cost, it also makes the surgeons better at their art. They are paid well by Indian standards, but probably far less than they could earn elsewhere, especially in the West. We can address the need of the doctors, but we cannot address the greed of the doctors. And uh, I am pleased to say that our attrition rate among the doctors is virtually zero percent. They love working here. What qualities are you looking for specifically to work in a place like this? The most important quality is the passion. The second most important quality is the compassion. Shetty grew up in a middle-class Hindu family and developed an early passion for medicine, watching doctors treat his parents, who both suffered ill health. After medical school, he trained in London and returned to work in India, at first in Calcutta. There, by chance, he got to treat the city's most famous citizen, Mother Teresa. I was truly, truly touched by her thoughts and the deeds. Like a simple statement from her, which uh, says that hands which serve are more sacred than the lips that pray. Shetty says he serves with his hands and he prays. I'm very, very spiritual, but I'm not religious. I believe in the existence of God. And uh, before I start an operation, I pray to God. And after the surgery, I again pray to him for taking me through the operation. Prayer, Mother Teresa, Walmart? Shetty sees no contradiction. In order to be charitable at any scale, he says, you can't be a charity. Charity is not scalable. It doesn't matter who you are. You may be the richest person uh, 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 living on this planet. But if you want to offer free surgery, free treatment to everyone, you will go broke within a month. But good business principles, standard business policies are scalable. Narayana Health has branched out beyond cardiac surgery into cancer and kidney care, and Shetty says it will become the world's largest hospital system in a few years. It was very difficult at first when we came to see him, but the doctors told us that things are going to be all right. Baby Manoj is but one case, Shetty says, that proves health care, even sophisticated surgery, can be made accessible to the poorest people in the farthest corner of the world. For Religion and Ethics News Weekly, this is Fred DeSam Lazaro in Bengaluru, India.